Listen, if, if Turkey Allah Sheikh wants to get his checkbook out, I will f***ing stick the gloves on, mate. There's no doubt about it. But the number's got to be right. And we ain't talking, we're talking double-digit millions. I've got a massive size advantage. Well, 10 million in new fight Oscar De La Hoya. Keep going, Oscar. Don't mug me off. double digit. Oscar, don't it's mug me off with 10 mil. What do you think I am? It's Two a double digit. Listen, let me tell you something Define now. Define double digit. I've got a massive, massive size advantage Ego. over Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. Ego as well. <laughs> the slight problem is he was one of the greatest pound-for-pound -pound fighters of all time. True. So I'm slightly up against it. But I will get my head punched in for the right price. I would probably rather sit at ringside with his excellency and watch one of the best nights of boxing unfold but there's always a price but don't mug me off with a 10 mil i'm not happy about that well let's talk numbers make the offer and we'll go from there this promoters brawl promoters fight possibilities are there get out the checkbook and we will see where bars listen uh that is <clears throat> eddie hearn responding to uh, the idea of fighting Oscar De La Hoya in a ring. <laughs> but the thing is, he won't do it for $10 million. And um, I think uh, Eddie saying, make me an offer. He's already pretty much made the offer. $10 million is enough for anybody. You know what I'm saying? So if it was enough for Deontay Wilder, sure as hell enough for some guys or for a guy that really hasn't get got punched before, you know, without headgear. And that's uh, that's Eddie Hearn. What Eddie's saying is I won't do it for more, no more than double digit. So, yeah, it has to be, you know, um, probably 15 to 20 million. But you're thinking it's like, OK, that's more like some celebrity shit because you're not a real fighter. But Oscar is. But, you know, for Oscar to even offer $10 million for a fight to fight Eddie Hearn, it just lets me know it's showing me that he wants to hurt him. He really wants to physically put pain to Eddie Hearn. And that just shows you that the uh, the, the, the the animosity is real. You know what I mean? For him to even come up with some shit like that. You want to fight a promoter. Yeah, he's about mm, uh, seven, eight years young, younger than you. But he's bigger. But then he's not a boxer. He's a promoter. So he's good at talking. And you're not. You know what I mean? You're you was a fighter first and a promoter second, not the other way around. This guy's a promoter first and probably nothing second, <laughs> you know, but Eddie was. Excuse me, Eddie was realistic about it. He was like, yeah, I got a size advantage over him, but, you know, he's probably one of the best fighters ever. You know, because Oscar De La Hoya was a bad man. You know what I mean? He was one bad mofo. He could get it done. You know, he beat a lot of guys, Ike Horte, Obercar. A lot of people think he beat Trinidad. He went to war with Sugar with Sugar Shane Mosley, um, you know, Bernard Hopkins, you know, Manny Pacquiao. You know, he was in there with a lot of people. The great Julio Cesar Chavez beat him twice back to back. Miguel Angel Gonzalez, you know, um, Arturo Gotti, Floyd Mayweather, which a lot of people thought he won. Yes, Oscar De La Hoya has been in there with countless people, okay, in countless, on countless levels and, you know, and... And you think that doesn't just go away because Oscar De La Hoya will always be able to kick your ass as long as he's able to breathe and, you know, use his arms and legs. You know what I mean? As long as he's able physically, he has the ring IQ to beat someone, especially a novice or, you know, someone not even that way. OK, so I think. Eddie knows that. That's why Eddie's like, uh-uh, I'm not doing that shit for less than whatever. And he's not even saying the price because he would want Turkey Alashik to uh, um, definitely, you know, put that in. But you know something? I, in some weird way, though, that would actually sell. You know what I mean? Like Eddie Hearn fighting Oscar De La Hoya, two promoters, and people are so accustomed to promoters just talking. Versus walking. Yeah, I, I do think that that would be one hell of a thing to put together. It would be interesting. And I think it would do very well because we'll be talking about it for a long time. You know, but Eddie, I don't, I, you know, like he said, he don't, that's not his idea. He doesn't want to do that. He said, I'd rather be ringside watching the fights instead of gearing up to, you know what I mean, nerve myself up to get in there and fight somebody that's been fighting damn near all of his life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I don't think that, you know, Eddie's really taking that, you know, lightly. But again, everyone has a price. So he's not just slacking it off, but he'll do it for something that's too good to be true or for too much money.
But you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn responding to Oscar De La Hoya's call out. Six versus six. Match room versus golden boy. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace!